Hello dear students of Feather Prep Science. Uh, let's go to start our episode today as we have a general revision about all points in the second term as we studied before. But uh, let's go to uh, welcome with Mr. Wael Saad. Hi Mr. Wael, welcome back. Welcome Mr. Mohammed. welcome all of our dear students in this new episode of your program Madrasa Al Al Hawa. Thank you Mr. Mohammed. Okay. So uh, here we have uh, different types of questions as uh, complete uh, problems, uh, drawing and something like that. So let's go to start with the first type of questions as we have here uh, complete. يلا نبتدي مع بعض بأول نوع من أنواع الأسئلة as complete the following statements. We have number one, زي ما احنا شايفين قدامنا, is the arranging of metals in descending order according to their chemical activity يبقى عندنا اول question بيقول لي complete is the arranging of metals in descending order according to their chemical activity طبعا here we have the chemical activity series okay Next question is what products are uh, produced from uh, as maximum electromotive force of the electric cells? Again, what produces maximum electromotive force of the electric cells? As we have two types of connection in the electric cells, as we have parallel and series connection. But here we talk about what? We talk about the maximum electromotive force by the connection of some electric cells as we have to uh, say here in this question as what as serious connection serious connection طبعاً, of the electric cells next one is what decreasing the uh, loss of sight in human we have here a question from uh, unit uh, 3 as we have to know, or unit 4 especially, as we have here decreasing the loss of sight in human. يعني بيقلل عملية فقدان البصر أو الرؤية in human. طبعا here we have vitamin and this vitamin is very important as we talk about vitamin A. As we have some modification in the genetic structure of rice, to uh, make uh, uh, pro-vitamin A as carotene change into vitamin A to uh, avoid a loss of sight in human. The سؤال مهم جدا. Next question is genome. Now ناخد هنا definition as genome يعني ايه كلمة genome. Genome is the chromosomal map of the human. Genome is the chromosomal chromosomal map of human as we have about three uh, billions of uh, genes in this genome here we have DNA consists of small units are called what we talk about DNA and DNA consists of small units these units are called yes nucleotides So we, we, sh we should know here the difference as we talk about the small units of DNA. But at the same time, if we talk about the chromosome, chromosome consists of DNA plus protein. Here we have, is a part of DNA exists on the chromosome? Here we talk about as a part of DNA. But here in the previous one, we talk about small units of DNA. So small units of DNA are called the nucleotides. But here we talk about part, our small part, exist on DNA. This is what? Gene. So gene is a part of DNA exist on the chromosome. Okay, Mr. Well, if you have any type of questions, we can answer it. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad. Let's uh, talk about the, uh, another type of question. Yes. It is a problem. Yes. Okay, number one. Okay. If, as you see, if the work done, work done equals 20 joule, okay. to transfer a quantity of electricity equals 40 coulomb, 
through a conductor whose resistance is 10 ohm. Yes. Calculate the current intensity passing through the conductor. As you notice, my dear student, we have three givens here. Number one, W equal 20, 20 joule. Second one is Q, Q equal 40 coulomb. And third one, R equal 10 ohm. In this type of problems, first we have to write down our triangles, our triangles. First one, as you remember, my dear student, here Q, I, T. Second, W, V, Q. Third one, V, R, and I. And if we return back again to the question, we have three givens. First, in this type of problems, first, I have to find a relation between any two of them. And now I ask you, my dear student, if, uh, if there is a, a relation between W and Q, or Q and R, or R and W, we will notice that there is a, a relation between W and Q. So first I have to get V. V here equal W over Q equal what? 20 over 40. So it will be 0.5 what? 0.5 volt. And now I have number one first given. And I have another given which I didn't use even now. R. So now I have V and I have R. Which relation between V and R now easily I can deduce that it is I equal V over I. So I equal V over R equal what? 0.5 divided R divided 10. So it will be 0.05 ampere. So again, in this type of question, if he gave me three givens, I must find first, number one, to write down my uh, triangles. Second, I'll try to find a relation between any two of these givens. Then after that, I'll get the third one, the third the physical uh, uh, quantity or physical property, then I must to find a relationship between this, what I gave, what I, I got, and the third one that I didn't use. Thank you, Mr. Mohammed. Okay. As we see here in this question, we should know how can we deal with this type of questions as we have to know the difference between the, uh, we have three rules, and then a talat qawaneen, lazim nib arfinhum. Number one, uh, I equal Q over T. Number two, we have V equal W over Q. And number three, we have R equal V over I. We should remember the three triangles and we should remember the measuring unit of each one of them as we have, uh, we have measuring unit as ampere, we have measuring unit as column, time as second, uh, work in joule, uh, potential difference as volt, and at the last one, as we have here, the, put, uh, the electric resistance in ohm. So here we have another type of questions as we see here. And then a سؤال تاني زي ما نشوف هنا قدامنا بيقول لي what is meant by ريت هنا لو سمحتوا بيقول لي what is meant by the thermal decomposition reaction. يعني إيه thermal decomposition reaction. As we have three main types or four main types of the chemical reactions in this syllabus. And then أربع أنواع من the chemical reactions. Uh, the first type is what is called the uh, thermal decomposition reaction. But let me tell you what is meant by thermal, which means heat, as we studied before. So, is our breaking down the compounds. by heating by what heating into simpler 
substances here in this question we break down the compounds by heating into simpler substances maybe uh, its elements or maybe uh, a simpler compounds next question is what is meant by simple substitution reaction and at the same time what is meant by the chemical activity series as we have to know the second type of the chemical reactions in our syllabus as we have to know what is meant by uh, simple substitution reaction as here uh, simple substitution reaction depends on the chemical activity series as we studied before so uh, simple substitution action which means element replaces another element in its compound يبقى انا عندي هنا element replaces another element in its compound but this replacement not like that we have rule to make element replaces another element this rule is called the chemical activity says as we studied before in second prep خدناها في تانية اعدادي and we study it again in third prep as we have what is meant by chemical activity says as here arranging of metals we have only one met uh, non-metal in this uh, chemical activity series is hydrogen but most of them are metals so we have arranging of metals or arranging of elements in what in descending order order according to their chemical activity يبقى على حسب الكيميكال اكتيفيتي او اكوردنج تو ذير كيميكال اكتيفيتي نيكست وان از بيقول لي جيف ريزن فور هير الفولت ميتر از كونكتد تو بوث بولز اوف ذا باتري ان ذا الكتريك سيركت خلي بالنا هنا وي هاف تو فانكشنز اوف ذا فولت ميتر هير But in this problem or in this question, we talk about voltmeter is connected to both poles of the battery in the electric circuit. Here to measure what? Yes, to measure electro electromotive force because we talk about. poles of the battery and we have some electric cells next one here we talk about voltmeter but in this question voltmeter is connected parallel as we know but to the wire in the electric circuit طبعا هنا to the electric wire or to the uh, يعني, uh, metal as in the electric circuit here so we have to measure another yes to measure what potential difference in this question we have two common factors زي ما احنا شايفين we have two common factors number one voltmeter as here and here number two is connected parallel as voltmeter is connected in parallel but here we have to measure the electromotive force and here to measure the potential difference the next question is a meter is connected as we have here a meter is connected in series in the electric circuit as we know the device or this device is used as a function to measure what the electric current intensity electric current intensity okay mr wali if you have another type of questions
another problem another problem yes yeah mm. thank you mr Muhammad. thank you this problem says if a quantity of electricity if a quantity of electricity of 5400 coulomb yes pass it through a cross section of a conductor its resistance is 30 ohm for five minutes calculate the potential difference now what are givens as you see my dear students we have three givens number one is q q equal 5400 coulomb number two we have the r r equal 30 ohm number three we have time but what is the value of time here five minutes but we must convert it into seconds so it will be five times 60 it will be 1800 uh, seconds so now we have three givens and he needs the fourth one which is v what can we do now first we must write down our triangle number one do you remember my dear student number one is q i t second w v q third v r i now let's try to find the relation between any two givens here is there any relation between q and r or q and t or i and t as you see my dear student the relation here is between q and t so from this triangle i'll get what i equal q over t so it will be q here is 5400 divide what divide divided uh, 1000 800 5400 divided 1800 so uh, sorry 180 180 no oh, yes no no 5 times 60 is 3 yes 300 sorry so it will be these two zeros will uh, uh, removed by these two and 50 4 divided 3, it will be 80. So now I is 80. Ampere, yes. Ampere. This is the first one. So now we have I and we had R, R equal 30. So what is the relation between I and R? It is, it is V. So V equal R times I equal 30 times 18 so it will be what 540 what volt Volt. okay thank you Mr. Man. thank you so here we should remember these students how can we convert from one measuring unit as we have quantities as time its measuring unit is second not minutes so we should convert any time in our problems from minute to second by multiply with 60 because each minute consists of 60 seconds so here we have another question as drawing you only show by drawing the drawing of the graphs as we hear here we have the most here now samahto of the alternating current and direct current yani how is then the nursem uh, alternating current with the direct current بص كده مع بعض هنا alternating current as we have two axes as we have axes our axes of uh, electric current intensity and another axis is the axis of what axis of time and another one has bardu two axes one of the i and one of the what of t okay here we have time and here we have here we have I, here we have T, here we have I, and here we have T. Okay, as we talk about alternating current, so alternating current has variable intensity and direction, which means changeable intensity and direction, and 
as you see as a wave like that because it, its intensity is changeable and its direction can be changed also but another one as we talk about the direct current here it has constant intensity or fixed intensity and direction so we can represent this graph by using a parallel a straight line parallel to the time axis so here we talk about what we talk about the uh, 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 direct current so here we have dc and here we have ac and we can remember how can we uh, represent each one of them uh, as graphs uh, next question here dear students is what we only what happens what happens connection of electric cells in parallel according to the value of electromotive force uh, as here we have the same question but in give reason but here what happens we connect them in parallel but we talk about the electromotive force as the value from the parallel connection of the electric cells so here we have to say the value of electromotive force is what is minimum because in this case we know electromotive force equal e1 or electromotive force of one electric cell at the same time we have another question as uh, what what happens when the value of electric resistance increase or increases according to the value of electric current intensity as we have triangle we know r equal v over i so the relation here we talk about the relation between r and i if the electric resistance increase the electric current intensity what in this case decrease because we have inversely proportional between the electric resistance and electric current intensity and in this question he said that electric resistance increase so the electric current intensity what so we will write the current intensity will decrease at the same time we should remember the relation between r and v here the relation between between them is directly proportional which means if the electric resistance increase the potential difference will increase between the two points of the electric conductor next one adding manganese dioxide to hydrogen peroxide here we have to remember the catalyst as one from the factors affecting the speed of chemical reaction we have hydrogen peroxide as we have balanced chemical equation 2H2O2 as we talk about what we talk about hydrogen peroxide but in the place of manganese dioxide above the arrow because here in this equation manganese dioxide is a catalyst and we know catalyst doesn't uh, participate in the chemical reaction so how can we deal we will write here mno2 as we studied before in sixth primary uh, in the preparation of oxygen gas so hydrogen peroxide will decompose into two another elements or two another substances as we have here water at 2h2o plus oxygen gas evolve as we know here manganese dioxide we will write here hydrogen peroxide and it kida وطبعا هنا هكتب له water plus oxygen خلي بالنا we will uh, we will write the names or colors if we answer give reason or what happens ما ينفعش اكتب الاكويجن بس اوكي okay? and we can use another catalyst in the same chemical equation as we can use here oxidase enzyme as oxidase enzyme considered as catalyst instead of manganese dioxide and the oxidase enzyme exists in sweet potato in large quantities okay mr wiley if you have another problem or question thank you mr mohammed
as you see by the students, if you know that the atomic number of aluminium Al is 13 and chlorine Cl is 17. Which one is oxidizing agent and which one is reducing agent? Now, as you know, aluminium 13, Al 13 means its electric configuration is 2A3. So it loses three electrons. So it is oxidized. And chlorine is the oxidizing agent. Here, oxidizing agent is chlorine because it is the substance that dot the electrons. And aluminium is the reducing agent. Okay, number two, write down the equation. I must write here A, capital L small plus C, capital L. But Cl must be Cl2 because there is a covalent bond between these two atoms. And it will be what? Al, Cl. But it's not balanced. Al loses three and Cl gains one, so I must put Cl3. Okay? But it is still not balanced. So I must write here two. Two here means two Al and two by three, six Cl, so it will be A two Al plus three Cl two to be two Al Cl three. Another one, as you see, my dear student, the two following figures represented a, represents a graphical relation between number of electric cells and the electromotive force, EMF. When they are connected by two different methods to form electric battery, this is number A, and this number B. Now he asks about mention the type of connection in each figure. Which type of connection here? Parallel or series? And in B. In A, sure. Sure, my dear student, it is series. Why? Because by increasing the number of cells, the potential difference or the EMF increases. So A is series, while B is parallel. The second one, draw how four cells are connected together in each case. So now we must draw in parallel and in series. In parallel, Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. And we must connect the negative balls together and the positive balls together. If each one is 1.5 volt, so Mr. Muhammad, the whole battery EMF for the battery equal 1.5 volt. And when I want to draw it in series, I must write like that. Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. And I must connect the positive one to the negative of the second, the positive of the second with the negative of the third, and so on. Each positive pole is connected with the next negative pole and so on. Yes. So if each one is 1.5, so the uh, EMF for the whole battery will be 1.5 times 4. 4, it will be 6 volt. Thank you, Mr. Mahal. Okay, thank you, Mr. Well, very much. So here, how can, as Mr. Well said, how can we deal with the uh, problems as we have two uh, uh, drawing here in this syllabus as how can we re represent the relation in direct current and alternating current by 
uh, graphic representation and at the same time how can we uh, represent the relation between the number of electric cells and the value of electromotive force in series connection and in parallel connection. Here we have another types of questions as D has here we have uh, dear students, زي ما احنا شايفين هنا بيقولي what is uh, what happens طبعا هنا جاوبنا الأسئلة دي بيقولي what happens if or uh, by changing the genes enzyme we know from uh, unit three each gene form a special codes form a special what enzyme form a special what trait صفه محدده so in this question the question said the changing of the genes enzyme if the en enzyme change the trait will change if we remember this equation or these relations between the gene and the trait we can remember what happens if the changing in the genes enzyme also the hereditary the hereditary trait will change okay next one is complete the following uh, equations with the type of each one yeah the type of each one of them as we have number one as two uh, hg as here we have what but we should remember to write a triangle above the arrow as here we have mercury oxide by heating will change into what into mercury two hg plus what plus o2 gas evolves طبعا this equation represent a thermal decomposition reaction thermal decomposition reactions okay next one is طبعا we have here copper carbonate and we know the color of copper carbonate we remember together as green copper carbonate copper carbonate will change into CuO as copper oxide black and CO2 as what as carbon dioxide gas evolves and this equation also like the previous one as a thermal decomposition reaction next one is calcium carbonate calcium carbonate by heating as a thermal decomposition reaction calcium like what like uh, copper just combine with one uh, oxygen atom as we have calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide as the previous one but here we change copper with calcium as the same behavior نفس الطريقة بالضبط. Next one is copper sulfate. As we know, the color of copper sulfate is blue. Decompose by heating into what? Copper, as we say, copper combined with one oxygen as copper oxide. And here we have SO3 as sulfur trioxide. And this reaction is thermal decomposition reaction as the previous one here we have copper hydroxide as color uh, color of copper hydroxide and the color of copper sulfate both are what are blue man in special colors and here we have copper carbonate its color is is what is green lono green 
and we have the first one as here we have mercury oxide its color is red hmm? okay taban copper hydroxide will decompose into copper oxide as what as we have uh, hydrogen uh, uh, we have water as water vapor here because we have thermal decomposition reaction the last one or the last equation or the last chemical reaction in the thermal decomposition reaction we talk about sodium nitrate sodium nitrate its color is white as we remember the color of sodium nitrate is white but sodium as a monster here combine with all and just leave one oxygen uh, molecule here and here we have two Na in O2 as we have sodium nitrite we have what we have sodium 2 Na in O2 sodium nitrite and its color is yellowish white okay Mr. Well thank you Mr. Mohammed look at this figure and look at this figure and find out E1 and E2 as you see my dear student in this figure we have E1 we have E2 and he gave me 3 ohm and 2 amber what's E1 Mr. Muhammad E1 is because the two dry cells are connected in parallel yes and each one is 2 volt yes. so E1 is 2 volt yes but what about E2? E2 connection here in series connection. Series, but first I need to get the EMF for the whole two batteries. Yes. First battery is two and what is the second? But how can I get the EMF for the two batteries? First, he gave me two givens. As I said before, he gave me I equal two ampere and R equal 3 amber. What is the relation between them? V. V equal I times R. So it will be 2 times 3. It will be 6 volt. So E1 plus E2 equal 6. If E1 is 2, so E2 will be 4, four volt. Very good question. Yes. Okay, another one? Yes. In this equation, 2HCl plus ZL, dilute, HCl is diluted, will be ZnCl2 plus H2. This Zn is a piece, just one piece, not filling. How can you increase the speed of this reaction by two different ways? Yes. First one, Mr. Muhammad, is number one concentration of no. hydrochloric acid yes because hcl is dilute i must make from it from diluted to concentrated concentrated yes because by increasing concentration of reactants the speed of chemical reaction increase number two zinc inc in increasing the surface area of zinc yes. and they convert it from a piece into fillings filling. or powder yes another one mr muhammad yes how can you differentiate between zinc and copper by using HCl. Yes. How can we differentiate between them? We must add HCl to zinc, zinc and to copper. copper. What happen if we add HCl to zinc? We know by chemical equation. Yes. They will react together and hydrogen gas evolves. But in the case of Cu, what happened? No reaction. Why? Copper less active than hydrogen. No reaction because copper is less <coughs> active than hydrogen. And chemical activity is. Yes. yes. This is for you, Mr. Muhammad. You like this type of question? <laughs> yes. Two individuals, B blunt, yes. crossed. One of them is red flower, mm. and the other is white. Mm. And the offspring is R50 red to 50 white. Explain. As you know, my dear student, red, we have two different probabilities for red. Maybe R capital, R capital, it will be pure. And maybe R capital R small. 
but for white we only have one probability r small r small now he asks me if the red is r capital r capital or no. r capital r small it must be mr muhammad r no, capital the second one yes r capital r small because if it is r capital r capital crossed by r small r small we have only one type it's, it will be r capital r small and it is red but if we have the second uh, case r capital r small two r small r small we will have r capital r small r capital r small r small r small r small r small so it will be 50 50. thank you mr Muhammad. thank you mr Wayla. as here with you students uh, we should remember how can we deal with this uh, different or this type of questions as we have uh, genetic informations as mr well said if they are pure as the mendel's first law the law of segregation 100% uh, in the first generation is the dominant trait but if the two individuals one hybrid or impure the dominant and another is recessive the percentage in the first generation is 50 50 or one to one by this question dear students we have to end uh, this episode and i hope you get more benefits from these questions thank you see you goodbye